Hey, what's going on, guys? Alex here with Roger. Yeah. And it's that time of the week. Weekly fish, fish report. report. Yep. So we got a whole bunch of exciting news. I know you. Uh, we've been kind of like hearing a lot of things about rockfish north of the bridge. Mm -hmm. And uh, we heard a lot, of, a lot about live line. Yeah. So, so uh, north of the bridge, it seems the bite is definitely still north. Um, Love Point, Hodges. Mm -hmm. I think Tolchester Rock Hall yeah. still a little bit. Um, but yeah, Love Point. The Hodges. Vickery probably yeah, will be a good area yeah, too. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. We've heard of that. Yeah. Caught up to like 27 inches up yeah. there. So decent sized fish too. And everybody's still live lining, like you yeah. said. So, you know, for what I heard, most of the fish are suspended. Yep. So you don't have to get your bait to the bottom. bottom. Yeah. Keep it suspended. Yes. I mean, like a lot of times I'll say, you know, maybe put a little weight, but yep. with the way things are with, I guess, water quality on mm -hmm. the meat. Those people are just good. no weight. Yep. Free line them, let them sit let there. Let them swim, let them do their thing. Right. And they'll and, you find know. the fish. Or yep. the fish will find them, one or the other. Yeah, and all of these spots, you can live line, but you can also jig. Right, which so, is also, mm -hmm. what I like to do, I like to get a rod going, flip right. the bait runner up, and then I'll take a rod and I'll just start jigging and try to figure out where in the water comes. Right, right, are. right. And the biggest <laughs> thing with that is going to be the same thing that, you know, if most of those fish are suspended, you don't need super heavy jigs. No, yeah. I'll probably say half bounce half, right now will yeah, be a lot better perfect, yeah. just so you don't go too, too deep right. with that. Uh, other than that, at the Bay Bridge pilings will yeah, probably be another good. great area. Always I good. mean, soft crabs around Bay Bridge. Oh, pilings, yeah. Too. You can't soft really crabs, peelers, you yeah. know, yeah. Uh, put them on a. The way I like to do it sometimes is put them on a jig, like mm -hmm. one of those, oh, you know, bottom sure. sweeper jigs. Yep. Put it on the hook, drop it down, and just kind of, kind of play around it, just like if you were sheep's head fishing. Yep. Same thing, it works. Gotcha. And yeah. we got a lot of crabs too. So. Yes, we do have lots of crabs. Also yep. on that, uh, white perch. White perch. Ooh. With the white perch open and everything, I keep saying it. Baybridge pilings, deep water, yes. soft crab. That's the way to go. That's that where is... you always see those big perch. Mm -hmm. Or really any deep water in yeah. structure and soft crab. I think, in my experience, soft crab just always catches the big yeah. perch. If I was reason. fishing that, yeah. for that tournament, I would that's go to the Bay Bridge doing. pilings <laughs> and the main rock piles. Yes, yes. I would just spend a day just moving them along. Back and forth, deep water, and just right. try to find one of those big ones. Because <laughs> you know they have those big black backs in yeah, there. Yeah, yeah. Just massive 13 mm -hmm. inch perch. Even like minnows, too. Yeah. Overlooked a lot of times. A lot of people go out yeah. there and drop big minnows down there. Minnows and a bucktail. Yeah, yeah. Like yeah, old yeah, school. Yeah, yeah. Old school yeah. way to do yes. it. You can still do it, remember. Mm -hmm. uh, it still works. Yeah, absolutely. Uh, put like, you know, a little half ounce bucktail and just mm -hmm. bounce it drop on by. Bounce it. That will work yeah, pretty white good. Birds will eat them up. Moving down south a little more, we've heard a lot of reports about, you know, some bluefish and a few Spanish mackerel right. popular island in the mouth of Eastern Bay. Speckled trout has been uh, kind of hit okay, or miss yeah. in that area, but what's a big report there? Yeah. The redfish. Full reds. Yeah. So we have heard, not, you know, we posted this picture the other day, some people caught a uh, bunch of bull reds north of Poplar Island. That is not the only report of that we have heard. Yeah. So we've heard a couple other people come in and say the same thing. North of Poplar Island, into mm -hmm. Eastern Bay, they are coming across schools of big bull red. Now, yeah. probably not tons of them, but they are definitely out there if you're going to put the work in. I remember those fish kind of just swim up and then swim, swim back, back down. down. So yeah. sometimes what I've noticed down <laughs> like Tillman, mouth of the chop tank, they kind of just do circles. Yep. I also, when you're out there fishing, just look for big swirls. Yeah. Up out of you'll just kind of be driving around. You'll just see a big swirl. Go over and check that out. A lot of times the bull mm -hmm. reds come up, and when they go back down, their tail kicks, that. and you just see that, that smell too. Yes. There's that unique smell yeah, when yeah. you get close to them, when you can smell that. It smells out. like a fishy kind of, yeah. you know, fish slick kind of smell, and you can smell that, and you know you're yeah. close by. You see water kind of slick off a little bit at times, but yes. Yeah, yeah. Uh, but besides that, you know, we got We're mackerel. We're excited about the bull reds. Yeah, obviously. bull reds. <laughs> uh, you know, yeah, mackerel. Mackerel. Thank you. Trolling, uh, casting. Yeah. Pop, yeah. Same kind of thing. Poplar Island in mm -hmm. south seems to be where they have been. Yeah, and I've heard good reports, but they're going to be way down south. Yeah. The, you know, I always keep Big telling people, yeah, I keep telling people if you really want to get like a guaranteed kind of trip, mm -hmm. you're going to have to go pretty far south. Right. And my guess is going to be pretty much like chesapeake beach and down yeah yeah uh, that's going to be more Mouth consistent shop, tank, sharp sign all that yes. yeah you'll catch them uh yeah. and even so heard some reports from some of the guys coming in here about the mouth of the chop tank apparently water temperature dropped a little bit so mm -hmm. we might have changed things up that was before the heat wave now right. we have this heat wave so, it might so be different now. Yeah. yes so get out there and check it out uh as we move a little bit more south cobia yeah they're I mean, still around for sure trolling chunking, chunking. drifting eels for more yep. than that 
get some uh, bucktails yep. around, like keep them in your boat, like that one and a half spro, and especially that orange. Yeah, they seem to I, like yeah. orange. Orange and pink is my go-to. Yes, always, always. So whenever you see them around, you can just cast yeah. at them. Pitch it out to them. And, yep. Yeah. A couple of those big plastics here that will be great for rockfish and also you know your cobia. Yeah. When you let it down, you can pair them up on some bucktails or something like that, but it will work. Yeah, that was kind of my, those big bucktails with like seven or even the eight inch for Kobe. And, and the bull reds were yeah, too. Yeah, that was mm -hmm. yeah, my go-to for them. Other than that, we got one of a couple things I want to show you that I like to use this yeah. time of the year now that we have some of that peanut bunker kind of flushing out the rivers mm -hmm. or starting to. There are some of those jigs there. They kind of mimic the actual peanut bunker really mm -hmm. well. So you can let them drop and just kind of vertical jig them yep. or just kind of reel them. And you, have yeah, a nice just literally looks like a you know, mm -hmm. little peanut bunker falling down to the bottom. Yeah. The yeah. other thing I've seen with a lot of people just fishing from the bank mm -hmm. around here, find little baby flounder. Yeah, lots of little baby A lot baby of them. Someone's going to, yeah. A yeah. lot of them. Someone's going to get a keeper. So back <laughs> in the day, I always used to fish Thomas Point mm -hmm. and, you know, your typical gulp. And obviously I haven't had time to do it, but I really want to do it. Yeah. Get out there, throw some gulp on the bottom, drift through the point there. Yep. And I'm and sure you're gonna bottom. catch some Someone's beaver going flounder. To do it. I'm with you on I'm, that. I know there's gonna be. I know there's some on the Bay Bridge pilings. Yeah, I've I can, heard of a just short of keeper at the Seven River Bridge actually. No kidding. Yeah, a couple weeks ago, but yes, I did hear that. Gulp, that's Their the way to go. Their first fishing literally caught. Yeah. Like, Remember, they got to be like, like I guess 16, 16 and a half. Yeah, and this was uh, like 14 and a half. So, wait down in Point Lookout if you really want to get your Chesapeake Bay keeper flounder. I'll say fish the Patuxent River down to Point Lookout. Mm -hmm. Point Lookout, remember, Cornfield Harbor, which is right there at the point, uh, used to be a really good area for flounder, like right. massive keeper flounder. I used to fish there and catch, you know, 18, 19 inch flounder there. Mm -hmm. Uh, not a lot of people do it anymore. Yeah. The fish are there. Right. Yeah. I mean, they're there. I'm, I've heard people catching them so far this year over there. Uh, just gulp fishing, just right. like if you were ocean fishing, That's same thing. Long. And you're gonna catch them there, mm -hmm. and you're gonna mix back right there. Point look out of you know everything. Right. Pretty yeah. much. Uh, besides that, I know you've been crabbing. Yeah. Let's talk about crabbing. Yeah. So I have been crabbing, mm -hmm. and I actually did really, 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 really well on Monday. So, what I kind of have figured out about the crabbing thing, I think pull pots are probably the way to go. Um, it seems, at least on Monday, what I was doing is I kind of found an area six to eight feet of water, mm -hmm. did okay. Uh, it seemed most of them were in the six, to, or really in like more the seven foot, so dropped seven foot, caught more in seven foot, moved everything seven to eight, and really seven to eight feet was the sweet nice. spot. Um, I had clams and chicken necks in my pots. The chicken necks were picked clean every single time I brought them up. I had to rebate oh. every trap with chicken necks almost every single time I pulled them up. So it seems like they were really keyed into the chicken necks. Nice. But generally, people always say clams. Was is there the way a time to go. of the day that you were doing better? Or? All day. All I day. started in the morning um, early, probably like six thirty. Mm -hmm. Set everything out. First run we did great. Second run we did great. As the day went on, it seemed to get better. Nice. 11 o'clock, 12 o'clock in the afternoon, yeah. and we're still just, I think we got a bushel in six or seven rounds. Yeah. That's good. Yeah, it was really good. The other thing I'll say is I start off, um, you know, I got a big string of them. Don't be afraid to move them. So my last like 10 mm -hmm. pots, just they were okay. My first 20 pots were fire. So I took my last 10 and put them in front and pretty much all 30 of them were fire the rest of the time. Nice. So yeah, I was very excited about this. Yeah. So um, pull pots and again, don't be afraid to move them. I had a buddy that was right on the other side of the river from me, um, not doing near as well as I was. So just, I mean, it's Ooh, literally, he's a quarter mile away. Yeah. So they're there, you just kind of have to go find them. Laying a trot line, mm -hmm. I think you'll get areas of your trot line that you'll catch them, but the rest of it's going to be dead. Just set right. a few pots down, set a few pots somewhere else, and you will kinda find scout the scout around the yeah. areas and yeah. whatnot. That is and, my advice for yeah. crabbing right now. Especially <laughs> with crab prices right now. Right, yeah. You know, better Literally. get out there. <laughs> mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. But other than that, uh, surf fishing. I mean, yeah. I've been surf fishing uh, pretty much Ocean City. Yeah, big time. Uh, Assateague. Uh, not too crazy of like, you know, a lot of things going on. It's just pretty much like kingfish, sharks, mm -hmm. stingrays, 
but kingfish are tasty. Yeah, they are. And you yeah. know, it's like a big croaker pretty yeah, much. Yeah, yeah. They uh, and crazy. they're pretty simple to catch. And we got here, what we got here, it's a couple of pretty much what you need. You just need one of those kingfish rigs that we get. Uh, we got there. Uh, put a nice piece of uh, bloodworm and shrimp. The one I was doing the better uh, of those two was the shrimp one. Uh, and they were tearing them up. Yeah. And you just gotta put one kingfish. of those on the kinkfish, nice. and then you can cut them up, throw them out there, and catch some good sharks. Right, you right. Know? So nice. do that if you're on the beach or you want to do something, just right. hang out there. That's all you need right. right there. They stay good for a while. You don't have to rebait your yeah. hook. Don't have to worry about getting stolen. Yeah. Sit and relax. Good idea. Drink a beer and <laughs> catch <laughs> a fish. Yeah. <laughs> so, so I yeah. think that's what we got. I think for we'll this end week. on that yeah. note. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so yeah, thanks for watching, guys. All right, guys, have a good one.